It starts with the land. If your land base is not biologically regenerating itself and getting better and better each year, measured by all different parameters, but let's just use, you know, soil carbon or soil organic matter. If that's going down each year, um, that's not sustainable. But if you get that biological system cranked up with, you know, the carbon cycling through and the nitrogen and the water, then you've really got something that can sustain into, you know, for generations that doesn't take a lot of inputs. By treating this well, it's pulling the nitrogen out of the air and making it productive and it doesn't cost me anything. I realized over 15 years ago that soil was underappreciated. And I realized as a scientist that, you know, the whole premise of the food systems and hydrology and the biodiversity on this planet is, is reliant on soil systems. And when I personally started looking at soils in healthy natural areas, I found the highest levels of carbon reported. So, you know, very clearly in my mind was Wow, if we can restore health to landscapes, we can probably remove huge quantities of atmospheric carbon dioxide and put that back where it came from. So I've, I've realized that there's this huge opportunity to rebuild soils and rebuild ecosystems. And remember, uh, carbon is what it's all about. We're a carbon-based planet, and this is it in living color right here, right now. <laughs>